So welcome back and if it's your first time to the channel, welcome to the channel. On today's video we're taking a look at the ESR Halo Lock wireless power bank. Now Halo Lock MagSafe essentially it's 90% the same thing. Anyway, it's um this product has been very hard to get. It's always always almost sold out. That could even mean two things. It could even mean that they don't make enough or it could mean that it's selling so well that they're having a hard time with getting more supply. Who knows? But let's take a look. We'll open it up and uh, see what it's about. Now with the, obviously with the iPhone 12 and 13, as soon as they've come out with the MagSafe technology, it's opened up a world of possibilities for the iPhone in terms of accessories, which I think is just amazing. And uh, a lot of accessories have come out that have been quite convenient and I love convenience. So as you've probably seen in my other videos, if you watched them, um, I love MagSafe, so that's that's a given. I think MagSafe is so, so good for the iPhone series. And like I said, it's made everything so much more convenient. And the, the accessories that have come out have been, I've used a lot of them, as well as the chargers. So you open a box, you get your charger, the ESR. This is the black one. It does come in white as well. And I've got to say, I'm very surprised by the size of this. Now, when I looked on videos online and photos and stuff, I thought this was going to be huge. But it's actually not that big, and it's quite um, quite the portable little device. It does hold 10,000 milliamps of battery life in there, which if you compare it to the Apple MagSafe char uh, wireless charger, uh, the portable one, I think it holds around 1,400 to 1,500. So a lot, lot more potential in this charger than the Apple one. As well as this being almost about a third of the price of the Apple one, so bear that in mind. At the bottom we've got the five little holes that light up to tell you how much battery capacity you've got, as well as it tells you where it's got to um, when you're charging it. You've got a USB-C port at the bottom, which is because you get a USB-C cable in the box, so what you can do, you can treat this like a normal power bank. So as long as you've one of your cables has got USB-C on one side, you can charge your other phones. It doesn't have to be MagSafe. And you can actually charge another phone and charge your phone MagSafe with this at the same time. That's where that 10,000 milliamps comes in handy because you've got more capacity to charge more devices. And if you've got an iPhone any 13 series or something you should be able to get at least one and a half two charges from this so if you're going somewhere on holiday or you're going somewhere where you know that you won't be able to have access to a socket this will come in very handy the actual bit that comes in contact with your case is covered in a silicon so you know that it won't damage your case and speaking of cases this is the ESR Metro leather case in brown color super premium feeling case I really like it and it's got the metal feeling and buttons as well. Looks very nice and it's got MagSafe inside. Before we go any further, uh, all I want to say is if you do like these videos that I make and you want to see more content like this, um, give a subscribe at the bottom, press that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel and see more content like this. And if you like the video, give it a like as well. Small little thing, but it does go a long way helping the channel. So let's magnetize. So very strong magnetic connection on there. I've got to say, when I'm trying to pull it off, it does take a fair bit of effort. And if you see compared to the size or the, the width thickness of the iPhone, it's not that big. When you're comparing how much possibility it opens in, it, in terms of like having battery power somewhere where you might not be able to charge. You'll press the button, put it on the back, And your phone starts charging. Now you don't get the MagSafe um, animation on there because obviously it's not fully MagSafe charging. I believe you get up to 15 watt wireless charging. With an iPhone it's up to 7.5 watts. So you can use this with a normal phone as a wireless charger as well if you have it like that. And you just put the phone on top. But yeah, with iPhones, you're going to get maximum, I think, anywhere between 5 and 7.5 watts of wireless charging. But, like I said, that's more than enough. It's not, it's not a product that 
you're going to be using for let's say charging your iPhone fast it's something that you're using as a convenience factor because you can just pop it in your bag and carry it with you and you know you can charge your phone it doesn't have to be fast but it, because it magnetizes on you don't have to worry about it sliding off and your phone not charging like the old times when that would happen another thing I did mention the price is I think around $48 on the US ESR site which links for the case and the power bank will be in the description box below if you want to go grab yourself one like I said they are very hard to get because they're always out of stock so if you do manage to get them in stock count yourself lucky but yeah compared to the Apple one the Apple one's $100 or a little bit more this one's around $45, $47 so you're getting more than five times the charge capacity for less than half the price and one thing I've noticed I've actually used this one I know I've just unboxed it but I've actually been using it for a couple of days previously anyway one thing I've noticed is it doesn't get that hot you'd be surprised because when it comes to battery and charging stuff like that things usually get quite hot especially when they're in small packages like confined packages this actually has quite a which from what I've seen on their website they've got like a cooling mechanism in there to maintain the temperature in a way that it um, doesn't get too hot the last thing you want is to get a lot of heat on this power bank which because heat and battery they don't go together well I'm going to be getting a lot more different types of power banks on the channel to review I've got this one as well by Oisel this one is an 8000 milliamp battery power bank with uh, two USB-C two USB-C ports on the bottom so keep an eye on the channel for that if you want to be interested in that one also magnetize it to the back of your phone so going to be reviewing that one later on but this one for now this one's got me very impressed I think this is going to be my go-to for now just because it gives you that so much more battery power in there and it's convenient to carry might see if I can get myself the white one as well just to have two and I think I should be set so if you've got any questions leave them down below like I said if you do like the content and you want to see more subscribe to the channel give it a like and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of new content thank you guys for watching hope you have a nice day and i will catch you on the next one